and Owens comes up and grabs it on the 15 in the middle of the wedge. Cuts to the right, over the 20, up to the 25. He's hit by Bobby Abrams. Down he goes on the 27-yard line. Option right and the handoff going uh, to the fullback. And Vinci gets it over the 30, out to about the 31. He's back. He fires right sideline. Incomplete intended for the big tight end, Brian Anderson. And so Wisconsin fails to pick up a first down on its opening possession, and the Badgers will be forced to punt it away. And here's the snap, some pressure. Sapicki gets it away, hangs it high. Golazar will watch this one hit at the 31, race out of the way. The ball takes a Wisconsin bounce, and the Badgers have nine men downfield watching the ball roll inside the 20. It'll be down on the 19-yard line. Demetrius Brown leads the Wolverines out to the line of scrimmage at the 19. He splits McMurtry to the left and wide to the right. Colazar, but it's a running play, and Jamie Morris coming off the right side. Busts into the open at the 30, up the sideline, 40, 50, looking for a block from McMurtry. Can't quite get it. A flag is thrown as Jamie is run out of bounds at the Wisconsin 35-yard line. I think we're going to get a clipping call on McMurtry. Chester at the other guard. And at the tackle spots are Doring and Elliott. Here's a handoff to Morris going left, and this time that big eight-man front for Wisconsin plugs up the hole at tackle, and Leon Johnson, the defensive tackle, makes the stop this year, and Brown is back to throw on second and nine. Fires short near side. Morris goes low, grabs the ball, and falls at the Wisconsin 45, a gain of four to set up third down and five. It places Jeff Brown at tight end. Third and five at the 45. Back goes Brown to throw. Time down the middle. Complete to Morris inside the 40. To lose two men inside the 30. And Jamie is to the 25 for a Michigan first down before Robert Williams could make the tackle. Looking for room. Tries to cut back against the grain. Down he goes. Hit by Dan Kissling, one of the linebackers on the 21. Morris in the eye. Two tight ends. Walker right. Brown left. Only wide out. Wellborn, the freshman to the left. Here is a handoff and a counter play. Jamie going left side. And Noka hits him coming in from that safety spot. In formation now. Bunch, Webb, and Morris in the backfield. McMurtry the only wide out. Hand off Jamie. Power off tackle to the right. Puts his head down. Gets to the 15, but he'll be short of a first down. Then Derek Walker, the extra tight end, and the Wolverines will go for it on fourth and one at the Badger 15. In formation, two tight ends in. Walker left, Brown right. Bunch, Webb, and Morris in the backfield. Fake to Bunch. Brown runs option right. Keeps it first down and more inside the 10. Demetrius Brown to the 6. Before free safety, Greg Thomas could make the tackle. First and goal, Michigan. Guards now first and goal at the six. Colazar split to the right. The handoff goes straight up the middle to Bunch. And Bunch turns his back and plows backwards down to the one-yard line before the middle of that Wisconsin front could stop him. Quick snap count. Handoff Morris. He hesitates. Goes off right tackle. Fights down to the goal line. I don't believe he got in. No signal from the officials. And he was stopped. Stopped by Andy Hartley, but converted fullback, who's in at one of the linebacking spots in Wisconsin's short yardage defense, inches away from the goal line. Michigan huddling back on the 10. They break out of it. Demetrius Brown comes up under center. John Vitale, Wisconsin, 11 men on the line. Michigan, two tight ends and the wishbone. Webb, Bunch, and Jefferson in there. Hand off Jefferson. Right side, touchdown! Alan Jefferson goes in, but there is a flag on the play. Hold on just a moment here. The penalty is offside against Wisconsin, and the touchdown stands for Alan Jefferson, the sophomore out of De La Salle, who carries it over for the third time this year to put the Wolverines on top six to nothing. Right. Extra point attempt by Gillette out of the hold of Robbins is good. 7.43 remaining in the first quarter. Michigan 7, Wisconsin nothing. And we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Deep along with Kissling, who led the Big Ten in kickoff returns last year. Gillette's kick, a very long one. Owens, eight yards deep in the end zone, goes down on a knee and will not run it back. Ford and Marvin Hartley back there. Ford was the running mate of Alan Jefferson in high school. Here's the option left. Keys with Ford trailing is going nowhere. Hemmed in by John Willingham. Marvin Hartley in the backfield, and Keyes drops to throw, looking right. Fire short, almost intercepted. That ball, J.J. Grant got out there in a hurry in front of Scott Bester, the wide receiver, who was running a slant, and J.J. got a hand out, swatted it down. They're split, and back to throw is Bud Keyes. He's getting a blitz now. He runs out of there away from Willingham, chased by Mester. Now stops, throws back, and it is caught by Burks on a diving grab at the Wisconsin 35. That'll be a first down. Overran it. First down now for the Badgers, their first of the ball game at their own 35. 
They got a new running back, Curtis, in there, but the handoff goes instead to Freddie Owens out of Bishop Borges, and he is stuffed. You got John Milligan and J.J. Grant outside Bobby Abrams, Carlitos Bostic. On the corners, Campbell and Arnold as Keys running the option, hands the ball straight up the middle. And his big back Marvin Hartley fouls his way out over the 35 to the 37-yard line. He got seven yards on that carry. Second and eight. Backs are split. Lewis Curtis Jr. and Marvin Hartley. And the handoff goes to Curtis. And Mester stood him up right in the hole. Knocked him down at the 36 for a loss of a yard on the play. And Keyes is back to throw off a fake to Hartley. Goes short over the middle, right through the hands of the tight end, Daniel Howell, incomplete. Usher, Sapicki hits a low one. And our, uh, Colazar will get a return from his 25. Cuts to his left. Gets a good block. They're setting up a picket line. He's got it. 30, 35, 40. Hit the sideline. 42. And Colazar run out of bounds. Wide to the left. Trip Wellborn out to the right. The backs are Bunch and Morris in the eye. Tight end Jeff Brown on the left. Brown turns. Gives to Jamie. Left side looking for a hole. And runs smack dab into Victor Fortino. The linebacker is all down at about the 40. Again, only a yard yards a game on the run 190 on the pass back goes Brown to throw he's going deep near sideline for Colazar and he just led him too much to the sideline incomplete and he runs away from him scrambling around way back to his own 35 gets more pressure and fires deep up the sideline and Jeff Brown makes the catch inside the Badger 25 and stepped out of bounds on the 22 yard line shades of Jimmy Herbie two yard line in motion right comes Wellborn Callaway also split that way. Handoff. Morris coming right. Gets a good block in there. Has it inside the 20 and then is grabbed around the ankles by Greg Thomas and hauled down at the 17. Brown left. Derek Walker right. Wisconsin doing some shifting. Over shifting to the sideline and now they shift back and the handoff goes to Morris. He comes up the middle. Good tackle in there by Victor Fortino. Had Morris gotten by him he might have taken it the route. He had a... Now it's Wellborn split to the left. Jeff Brown, the tight end right, out of the wishbone. Handoff, fake to Gerard Bunch, and Brown's going to keep it around the left side. He gets a great block from Wellborn inside the five. Touchdown, Demetrius Brown. What a fake Demetrius Brown made out of that wishbone to his fullback, Gerard Bunch. Everybody bit on it. Brown kept it on the option left, got a great downfield block from the freshman receiver, Trip Wellborn, and took it in 14 yards, and Michigan leads it 13 to nothing. In 14, Wisconsin nothing, and we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Gillette's kick will be handled by Freddie Owens, three yards deep in the end zone. He's coming out to the 10, up the middle, 15. He makes two-man miss, cuts to his right at the 20, trying to get to the sideline. And Freddie Owens out of Bishop Borges is run out of bounds at the 21. Curtis and Hartley in the backfield. And it's an inside handoff to Curtis. And he runs smack dab into Mark Messner at the 21. He might have pulled his way forward to the 22. And that's it. It's fourth down. Has not been able to move the ball past its own 35-yard line. It, no pressure. Sapicki kicks it away. Pretty good kick this time. Driving Kolazar back to his 34. He looks up. Cuts to his right. He gets over the 40. And then he slips as he tries to make his cut into the middle. Henry can find out where all that came from. Brown turns, takes the ball to Jamie Morris and drops the throw. He's got the wind at his back and fires for Colazar. has got it down at the 35. He's hit by Robert Williams, driven back from there. But that will be a gain of 21 yards and a first down for the Wolverines. And right comes Wellborn. And the handoff goes to Jamie Morris. He high steps it over the line. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Jamie Morris. 35 yards with a great center step. Turtling a player who has fallen in the middle of the line of scrimmage. And Jamie Morris ups Michigan's lead to 20 to nothing with 22 seconds to play in the first quarter. That is an amazing run. It almost looked like it shouldn't happen. When he hurdled the guy, it didn't look like he was going to break it. But when he hit the ground, he was absolutely at full speed in one step and just absolutely outran everybody. What a great run and acceleration by Jamie Morris. Jamie Morris now has 103 yards in 10 carries in the first quarter. Extra point by Gillette is good. That's three in a row. And Michigan now leads it 21 to nothing. And we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Michigan in the first quarter. Michigan 21, Wisconsin nothing. These words now on the Michigan Football Network. Third and eight for the Badgers on their own 26. Our statistician, Marty Alice, our spotter is... Jim Adams, and here's Lowry running the option right. Makes a great move, cuts it up to the 30, is hit, fumbles the football. It's down on the turf. 
Michigan signaling our ball, our ball. We'll wait to see. There's a big pile of players down there as the freshman quarterback coughed it up. The snap to Sabicki, and he gets his kick away under some pressure. It's a short one. Kolasar comes up, grabs it on the 35. He's hemmed in. He's going to be hit and hauled down immediately at the 36-yard line. Put to the right. Callaway left. Callaway in motion now. High formation with Bunch and Morris and Brown running the option right. Going to keep it around the right side. Aaron Swopes. Kolasar said pitch to Morris. He hands it to Kolasar in reverse. Coming left. He's got running with 45, 50. He's up the sideline. 40 gets a great block from Vitale and is inside the 35 to the 30-yard line before John Kolasar is run out of bounds by Greg Thomas of some 30 yards for John Colazar on the river. Looked absolutely awesome in the first half. Leading 21-0. They've now got first down on the 29. Hand off to Morris Deep. Coming off the right side. Finds the scene. 25. Eludes a man. Runs through the arms of another at the 20 and is all the way down to the 13-yard line before Brad Mayo could make the stop. A brilliant 16-yard scamper for Jamie Morris. Down, buddy. You want to be at Buddy's Touchdown Buddy? Sign up at any Buddy's Pizza Store. Handoff Morris going left, finds the seam, all the way down to the 10. Cuts back inside, a great move around Robert Williams for a touchdown. Jamie Morris, 13 yards for his second touchdown of the day, and the Wolverines lead it 27 to nothing. A Wisconsin defender. Um, Kolasar did it on the reverse to batch, and on this one, Jamie Morris absolutely left. Robert Williams, flat-footed, his shoes nailed to the deck, gave him a little outside fake, turned it up inside, untouched into the end zone. 64 yards in four plays. Mike Gillette's extra point attempt is up, and it is good. It's 28 for Michigan. Nothing for Wisconsin. Still 12-16 to go in the first half. And we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Touchdowns in the last four minutes and 44 seconds. Here's the kick by Gillette, a little short. Owens comes up, grabs it on the run at the 8, cuts to his right, 15, finds a seam at the 25, up over the 30, and then he takes a terrific hit and goes down on the 33-yard line. The freshman finds a seam, cuts up over the 40, out over the 45 with a nifty move to the 49 before he was hit by John Milligan and hauled down there. And he tries to run the option left, and oh my, is he drilled by John Herman, who went unblocked and came through, and Lowry never knew what hit him at midfield, a loss of three. So Vicky awaits the snap. He gets it, no pressure this time. He kicks it away and hangs it high, and the wind will sail that even further. Campbell rushing to his right, calls fair catch. The ball curled away from him. He had to dive to make the grab at the 14-yard line. To Bunch coming up the middle. He fights through a tackle by Dan Batch spins out to the 18-yard line. Both wideouts split left now. The handoff to Bunch coming right. He runs right into the back of Dave Chester trying to block for him and goes down at the 20-yard line. A gain of just two. The way it takes. Third down and five. Demetrius Brown back to throw from his own 20. Standing in there with time. Throw short. Right side. It is caught by Bunch. He's up to the 25. Up to the 28. It'll be a first down for Michigan. He's also scored a touchdown on a nifty 14-yard run. Out of the eye formation, he gives to Morris, coming right, looking for running room, breaks two tackles, keeps his balance, loses a shoe, still fights forward over the 40 to the 41-yard line. 12 yards for Jamie Morris, another first down for Michigan, and that time Jamie ran so hard, he ran right out of his shoe, Jim. Unbelievable. It's, it's amazing. Nobody can get a clean shot at Jamie Morris. Uh, he had two people that had opportunities for shots, and Jamie, for some reason or another, instinct you just don't teach that kind of running ability was able to make them miss uh, make them get a leg rather than get him full head on with the body and he's able to run through those tackles a formation and jefferson accepts a fake from brown who drops to throw stands in at the 30 fires down the middle mcmurtry's got it inside the 40 he has hit at the 35 goes down at the badger 34 in the arms of robert williams but that will be another Michigan first down. And Demetrius Brown threw that one on a ro rope to McMurtry for a pickup of some 25 yards. 34 on the draw play. Jamie Morris coming right. Squirts through at the 30, 25. And then he scissored to the ground at the 22. Dan Kissling hit him low. And Robert Williams hit him high. But Jamie says, that's OK. I'm all right. Gets back up after gaining 12 more yards. 64 yards, four plays touchdown they're in the midst of td drive number five if they can finish it off handoff to rod bunch going off right tackle fights down inside the 20 to the 18 yard line one penalty in the entire game so far for michigan 
out of the wishbone. Brown hands to Bunch's fullback coming left, breaks one tackle, then is hit by Greg Thomas, the safety at the 15, and Bunch carries him down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. 28 to nothing with 6.35 remaining in the first half. Now Walker on the left, Brown on the right. Wishbone formation, Webb, Bunch, and Morris, and Demetrius Brown calls timeout. 6.09 to play first half. Michigan leading 28-0. These words now on the Michigan football network. Some defense, very young. Only one starter back from last year. Well, they're gaining some real experience here today. The school of hard knocks is in <laughs> session. Demetrius Brown out of the wishbone. Gives to Phil Webb. Left side. Big hole down to the five. Fights off a tackler and fights down to the one. Greg Thomas, the leading tackler at safety for this Wisconsin team. Had him at the five, but Phil Webb spun away, and they'll mark him down on the one yard line it'll be second and goal after that eight yard game quick snap count morris going off the right side big hole touchdown michigan jamie morris goes in for the third time this afternoon from a yard out as the wolverines that time march 86 yards to their fifth touchdown of the first half they lead it 34 to nothing nothing fancy frank just power off tackle the offensive line has been working with precision today and Jamie Morris just looked, found that little crease, saw the goal line, dove for it, and got in for the touchdown. We talked about it. Absolute total domination here by Wolverines offensively. Officially 85 yards in 10 plays, says Marty Hallis, our statistician. Mike Gillette's extra point attempt is up, and it's good. And Michigan now leads it by a score of 35 to nothing after Gillette's 64th consecutive extra point. 5.31 to go in the half as we pause for these words now on the Michigan Football Network. There's no place home. This is the kick by Gillette into the wind. Very high, but very, very short. And this one's going to hit at the 25. Bissling grabs it on a big bounce, cuts up field, and finds some running room to the 35, the 40, the 45. And Bissling is all the way out to the 48-yard line. Boy, the Michigan players froze down there when the ball took the big hop. But Dan Bissling knew he had to grab that ball because it was free. He leaped in the air, grabbed it, cut to his right, found a big hole, and returned it 24 yards. And he runs the option left with Curtis the trailing back, and Lowry will keep it, and he'll pay the price as he crossed midfield. Eric Campbell hit him. Johnson at the Michigan 48. And here's Lowry running option right. Gives to Curtis. Faked it to Curtis. He kept it himself. Turned it around the corner inside the 40 down to the 35. That's a gain of 13 and a first down as that freshman quarterback, Tony Lowry. Does a great job of running that beer option attack. It's down Badgers at the Michigan 35. 423 left in the half. Wolverines up 35-0. Lowry running option right. Going to keep it around the corner. Down to the 30. Up sideline 25. And he's bumped out of bounds at the 23 by Eric Campbell. And he'll hand the ball this time to Vinci coming off right tackle. He gets it inside the 20 to the 19 for a gain of three. Demetrius Brown may only... Spend a half in the ball game. Here's Lowry running option left, and three players run into each other. Mark Messner is one of the three. <laughs> he stuffs the play for a one-yard loss. What a ball game he's played in that defensive front for the Wolverines. Oh. And Bo is down there just shaking his head. At the last play, real quickly, uh, we talked about Messner having such a wonderful day. On that play, he actually took the offensive tackle, blew him into the backfield, and the offensive tackle stopped the ball carrier. And then the quarterback who saw that happening tried to pull the ball out, and Messner pushed all three of them back into them so Willingham could come in and make the hit. Third and eight, Lowry running option right is going to keep it, and he is going to be drilled by Neil Simpson, who just came into the game, replacing J.J. Grant at inside linebacker, and they're celebrating that big tackle for a one-yard loss by the freshman out of Highland Park. He has had 56 career field goals, but he stays on the bench. Fourth down, Lowry back under some heavy pressure, just throws it out in the left flat, incomplete, and then checks the truck that hit him and <laughs> finds out the license plate was number 56, Billy Harris. And Michigan will take over on downs, and the Wolverine defense is celebrating out on the field. They're knocking each other down out there. Taylor does take over at quarterback, gives on a draw to Jefferson, coming right up the middle. And he gets to the 25 for a gain of four. And fakes to Jefferson, rolls right the throw, gets a block from Huzar, pumps once. Now he's going to run up the sideline, gets to the 25, bumped out of bounds at the 27. -er. Here's Taylor back now on third and eight from his 23, getting a blitz, fires, and the ball swatted out of the air by Aaron Swopes, who was coming from that linebacking spot. Hanson went with an all-out blitz. And he's in himself will punt for the first time. He's averaging 45.1. He gets the snap, some pressure, and he shanked one. 
Well, that's as unusual as snow in July right there. And this one will go out of bounds at the 49-yard line of Michigan. Right Gibbs on the right side. And with a quick burst to speed, Lewis Curtis Jr. through the line. It's hit at the 40, fumbles the ball forward. And Michigan has recovered on the 37-yard line. And so Curtis came through that right side and made a big mistake. He coughed up the football. The freshman out of Oklahoma City did. And John Milligan got it for the Wolverines. Boy. First and 10 on the 37. Taylor fakes to Webb, drops to throw. He's looking right side, fires it. And Jefferson turned to run with it too soon and dropped the ball. Jefferson and Webb running in that backfield now. McMurtry and Colazar in there at the moment. 35-0. Michigan on top. The Wolverines scoring touchdowns on their first five possessions. Taylor back, fakes the draw play to Webb, sets up screen left, delivers it to Jefferson, 30, 35, good blocking upfield, 40, 45, over midfield, and he's finally hit inside the Wisconsin 45 and goes down on the 43, 20 yards on the screen pass, and Michigan now will line up quickly, or will they? He's being moved up, clock stopped while the chains are set, 106 remaining in the half, Michigan comes to the line, and to the left. Jefferson and Webb split in the backfield, Here's a draw play, and Phil Webb comes up the middle, makes a great move to his right, inside the 40, 35, down to the 32-yard line, 11 yards before Mike Brecky made the tackle in the secondary, along with Aaron Swopes, the linebacker. He's developing. Taylor back to throw on first down at the 32. Looking right, now left, by her sideline. Callaway's got it and falls out of bounds on the 14. 18 yards as Michael Taylor gets in on the punt. Well, he rifled that one in, too. Michael Taylor, who is... Of the two quarterbacks that were in contention for the job at the beginning of the season is to be the better runner. He's not as good a thrower as Demetrius Brown. You couldn't tell it on that play. Eye formation fakes to Jefferson, sets up the throw at the 20, wants to run now, takes off to his right, stops, eludes a man, cuts up the 15, makes two great moves inside the 10 and down to the seven yard line with 26 seconds remaining in the half. They've got to call timeout quickly now. Clock still running, and finally the Wolverines call time with 21 seconds to go in the half. In the signals on second and three at the seven, stumbles as he drops to throw, rifles it back in the end zone. It is a touchdown to Derek Walker, the tight end. Michael Taylor just drilled that football under the goalpost, and Derek Walker hauled it in. And the great comeback story of Derek Walker continues. The man who is such a great linebacking prospect and underwent reconstructive knee surgery and converted to tight end, made the grab in the back of the end zone for his first collegiate touchdown. Now Mike Gillette will attempt the extra point. This would make 65 in a row at his sixth of the ball game. 16 seconds to go in the half, 41 to nothing Michigan leads. Monty Robbins will hold. The snap is placed down, the kick is up and it is good. Michigan 42, Wisconsin nothing with 16 seconds to go in the half. Well, that's our scoreboard update from here. Now let's get one from Paul Chapman at our studios in Detroit. Back deep, along with Fred Owens, a line drive kick. Hits at the seven, bounces to Owens in the end zone. He juggles it. He wanted to run it out. Kissling said, get down, kid, get down. And Owens did. Freshman Tony Lowry at quarterback for Wisconsin. And they're just going to run the ball. The handoff going to Vinci, and Vinci coming off the right side is drilled at the 22 and goes down immediately right there in the arms of Bobby Abrams and Neil Simpson. And that'll be the final play of a devastating first-half performance by the Michigan Wolverines. They get a standing ovation as they head off the field at halftime, leading the Wisconsin Badgers by a score of 42 to nothing. And we'll be back with our halftime activities from here at the stadium. Bill Steggett will be along to host our show when we come back after these words on the Michigan Football Network. Jamie now 174 yards in 16 carries, threatening to break his personal best of 210 against Ohio State last year. First down. And Brown fakes to Morris, drops to throw. He's looking right side, throws incomplete to Gerard Bunch. That was a poor throw. Completion here. Second and ten. He fakes the handoff to Bunch. Sets up the throw and fires to the near sideline. And it's batted down. Batted away from the intended receiver over there, Chris Callaway. McMurtry split left. Colazar to the right. The backs are split. Brown drops to throw. Standing in there. He's looking toward the far sideline. Fires it for Colazar. And Colazar reaches out. Fakes the catch, but he was out of bounds at the 27. Robbins, who shanked one for 25 yards on his first punt, will kick it away to Scott Bester. Here's the snap. No pressure. 
And Robbins hits this one poorly. It's low and short. And Vester runs up, makes a fair catch on the 21. A pure option quarterback. And he's running to his left. And he's going to keep it. Get to the 15. He is hit by Neil Simpson. Fumbles the ball. It's loose at the 10. And Michigan recovers at the 10-yard line. Tony Lowry took a terrific hit. And the Wolverines come up with a fumble recovery, and it was Mark Mester on the bottom of the pile who got the football. And the Wolverine defense does it again, Jim, and what a thrill that's got to be for the freshman linebacker, Neil Simpson. Two turnovers by Wisconsin. This one at the Badger nine-yard line. First and goal for Michigan. Demetrius Brown hands to Jamie Morris. Coming right, finds the hole stacked up, running to the short side of the field. He's all down on the eight. Formation for Morrison Bunch behind Demetrius Brown. Ball on the right hash mark. Wellborn coming in motion left, and Brown turns, gives deep to Jamie Morris, coming to his left. He's to the 10, looking for a block. Cuts inside of a good block by Callaway, and is hauled out on the one by Dan Kisling. Chris Callaway just absolutely drilled the free safety. Greg Thomas leveled him. Jamie cut inside of that block and nearly scored his fourth touchdown of the game. And Fritz Seifert who scored four touchdowns in a game for Michigan. Ron Johnson, the record holder with five against Wisconsin back in 1968. Everybody jammed in tight out of the wishbone. Brown going to run option right, keep it. And Demetrius Brown takes it in himself for his second touchdown of the game. And Michigan leads it by a score of 48 to nothing. Nothing fancy about it. They run the triple option, wishbone look. And again, Demetrius Brown reading that defensive end when he took the fake to bunch off the guard center gap, Demetrius John just pulled that ball back out and went around the right side, and there was nobody out there. Uh, poor job, really, by Wisconsin in, in defending against that wishbone look on the goal line. They've got nobody outside, and twice Brown has gone that way for touchdown. Andy Borowski now recovered from that broken hand, is in as the deep snapper, and he sends it back to Robbins, who places it down. Gillette puts it up. And it's good. And Michigan now leads it 49 to nothing. 11.41 to go in the third quarter as we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. 18 touchdowns rushing as a high school senior. 10 passing and 2 receiving. Comes to his right and is hit on the option. Fumbles the ball again out there. But this time it looks like he got it back. Out on the sidelines today. Second and six. Wisconsin on the 43. And here's Lowry option right. And there is Neil Simpson again. <laughs> And the freshman out of Highland Park calls him down at the 41, a loss of two. Osmond in on the nose now. Manuel up front and back to throw is Lowry. Got some time down the middle. And the ball is caught. And the receiver goes up over the midfield. And that's going to be a first down as Wisconsin toss the ball to Brian Anderson, his tight end. Then caught that last pass, tight end on the left. In motion right comes Scott Bester. Split out to the right, David Burks. Here's the option, the handoff to Vinci, and he's met in the hole by Carlitos Bostic and by Neil Simpson. And Ward Manuel also there. Lowry running option left, gives to Artley. He's hit in the hole, fights through, though. The tackle by Osmond and advances the ball down to the 45 or 44. He's been up there along with Manuel and Folkertsma. John Willingham replaces Bostic at outside linebacker. Third down, option right. Lowry fakes a toss, runs through an attempted tackle by Simpson. And then is hit by Doug Mallory down at the 40-yard line. He's going to be close to a first down. Option run, and Lowry's going to get a first down. And Wisconsin will hold the ball as the freshman quarterback runs it inside the 30. And there he is again as Hartley got the handoff and ran into Simpson. A right tackle, and down he goes at the 24 after a gain of about two. Bill Williams, Jr. split to the left. Burks right. Here's the option look, and the toss gets away from Vincey. And Michigan is going to recover the ball. John Milligan came up with it. His second fumble recovery comes at the Michigan 28-yard line as Lowry panicked. He had some pressure. Jefferson and Gerard Bunch in the I formation behind him. Jeff Brown and Derek Walker, two tight ends in. Here comes Jefferson around the right, around the left, rather, over the 30. Puts his shoulder down into Greg Thomas, the safety. Here's in Blue Jays. 6.15 left here in the third quarter as Taylor runs the option to the left. Cuts it upfield, going to keep it instead of tossing to Jefferson. Hit by Lamar White on the corner at the 40, but that's a first down. Set. Bunch and Jefferson out of the eye formation. Running behind Michael Taylor. One wide out. That's Callaway to the right, and he jumped too soon. Handoff goes to Jefferson up the middle, and he's drilled 
right in the hole with flags down on the play. It was on a draw to Jefferson coming off the right side. And he's got a seam to midfield. Hit from behind, and he carries a tackler inside the 40 down to the Wisconsin 38-yard line. Oh, and now he's going to have to run under some pressure. Got room, though, inside the 30, down to the 25, the 24-yard line for a pickup of 14 minutes remaining in the third quarter. The Wolverines leading 49 to nothing. 491 yards in total offense for Michigan now. Wolverines first down at the 24. Handoff Jefferson coming left. Looks for some blockers. Gets some. Gets a couple great blocks. Breaks a tackle by Thomas. And carries it all the way down to the 8-yard line. That's in goal again. You know, Greg, we've been talking a lot about Neil Simpson being an awful good-looking player. I think Alan Jefferson's a player, too. Bo Schembechler talked at the top of the show. I'd like to see him show a little more strength. We know he's got the great speed. But I think he showed some strength there. He ran through two tackles and carried two players about four yards with him after he was hit. Keith Mitchell now at one tight end spot on the left side. Derek Walker on the other. Jefferson, Webb, and Bunch in the wishbone. Demetrius Brown running option left. His hit fumbles the football as he pulled it out of the belly of Gerard Bunch. And Wisconsin has recovered on the 11. So the Wolverines turn it over for the first time this afternoon. Set the secondary in a moment. Hartley and Ford in the backfield, and the handoff goes to Eric Ford, the sophomore out of De La Salle, straight up the middle, and he's met by Neil Simpson at the 14. He is now. He's in that backfield with the L train, Marvin Hartley. And here's option left, and Lowry going to keep it, and hit by Milligan, or rather by uh, Willingham from behind. Paul down, but Willingham might have gotten his face mask as he reached in and Grab the freshman quarterback right at the line of scrimmage. Here's Lowry. Option to the left. Going to keep it. Get some blocking up the sideline. 40, 45. And then he is drilled at midfield and knocked out of bounds by Rick Hassel at the Michigan 49. Phil, he's got yardage. Lowry's got 89 yards in 14 carries. He doesn't like what he sees from Michigan at the line of scrimmage. He calls timeout. Eight for the Badgers. And got Ford and Artley in the backfield. Three men split wide. Option left. Lowry going to keep it. Simpson's got him. Hauls him down on the 46 on every play. This is a freshman. A legitimate freshman. Saw some action last week. Fourth down. And Wisconsin will go for it. Lowry running with the ball. Cutting up the middle. Hit by Simpson. And hauled down short of a first down at the 40. <laughs> Michigan takes over on downs as Neil Simpson makes four consecutive tackles and holds Wisconsin almost single-handedly. Just woke a few people up. I guess so. First down at the 41, option left, and Michael Taylor gives the ball to Gerard Bunch on the first option, and Bunch plows ahead to the 44, pickup of about three on the place. And we're getting wholesale changes up front as both starting offensive tackles, big John Elliott and Tom Doring come out of there. Wishbone formation now for Michael Taylor and the Wolverines. Tracy Williams in the backfield. And it's option right. And Taylor's going to keep it and going to be hauled down by Greg Thomas. Comes out as Michigan approaches the line of scrimmage. The end of the third quarter here in sunny Ann Arbor. Our score, Michigan 49. Wisconsin nothing. And we pause for these words now on the Michigan Football Network. 49 nothing. Michael Taylor back to throw. Running quarterback draw up the middle. First down inside the Wisconsin 45. Down to the 43-yard line. Taylor takes the ball to bunch. Drops the throw. Looking right sideline. Fires. And it's batted away by Kissling, the linebacker who took a deep drop and swatted it away before it got to McMurtry. Down in 10 at the Wisconsin 43. Bunch and Jefferson in the pro set. Draw play. Hand off to Bunch. He's in trouble. Runs into three Badgers. Spins away from them. Gets back to the 45-yard line. And then runs into three more Badgers. Led by Pete Noka. And is hauled down for a two-yard loss. And Taylor is back to throw. Four-man rush. But he's got plenty of time. Goes down the middle. The ball's tipped. Falls incomplete. Boy, he threw that into coverage. Victor Fortino is back there. Snap is a little slow getting back there. Some pressure. Robbins kicks it away. Hangs it high. Besters calls fair catch. Let's it hit. And it goes into the end zone for a touchback. Now I wonder what the average yard per play is. And I'm sure Marty will have that in a moment. Lowry running option left and hands the ball off to his running back, Artley, and he's not going far. Rick Ford in that backfield along with Fred Owens. Couple of Detroit products. And... He's going to run the option left. Otis is, and Flower's going to be hauled down in the backfield for a loss. Simpson and Stites at inside backer. Flowers on third and 11. Runs the option right. 
and hands the ball on an end around to Dennis Burks and Burks is hemmed in at the 15 gets up the sideline and runs out of bounds around the 20 there's also a flag down Neil Simpson is the man who forced the play deep and the penalty is against Wisconsin that deep trip Wellborn awaits the kick on his own 44 snap a little high so Picky pulls it down he'll kick it away it's a low end over end boot hits at the 47 goes straight up in the air bounces now back toward the Wisconsin goal line and will be down by the Badgers at the 43. Only 22 yards on the punt by Sapicki. Still in a tight end on the left. Bob Cernak, the second tight end on the right. And a lot of gun fatidomy is the only wide out. Split right. Handoff. Allen Jefferson comes off right tackle. No running room there. He gets about a yard. Taylor back. Fakes to Jefferson. Rolls right to throw. Fires toward the sideline. The ball tipped at the line. And Gerard Bunch very alertly picked it out of the air goes up the sideline to the 35 and he's bumped out of bounds Michigan got seven yards on the play yeah, and bunch was the really the checkoff receiver in the flat for Michael Taylor and Michael Taylor was going to go downfield the ball got tipped to his checkoff man so it's third down and a yard to go at the 35 and out of the wishbone the option right and the handoff to bunch and the big pullback out of Ashtabula Ohio powers his way for a first down to the 32. Here's Taylor on the option left he breaks a tackle pitches it very late out to Jefferson the ball flies out of bounds at the 25 yard line that was dangerous he was being hit Michael was as he tossed the ball out there and to me, it looked like he flipped it forward, Jim. But Amazing. back to throw is Taylor. He flips it out in the screen on the left side, and Bunch dropped the ball. Jefferson split backfield. Taylor dropping the throw, standing in, throws this one's tip. Intercepted down on the 20 by Noka. Noka back up field over the 30, 35, out to the 36-yard line. Now, well, Michael Taylor's had some trouble getting that ball over the linebacker's hands. He's had a lot of balls tipped today, and there was another one. It was resulted in an interception. And the second turnover by the Wolverines today. The Detroit backfield again. Eric Ford and Fred Owens behind him. They're split. He's going to run option right. And Flowers got some room. He keeps it. Cuts it upfield. He's hit once by Hassel. Breaks away from that tackle. And then he's hit by Bishop and hauled down on the 40-yard line. Out of the huddle. The crowd starts cheering. Flowers hands the ball to Fred Owens. Inside handoff. He's coming right on a misdirection play. He's got a first down over the 45 and out to the 48 before Bishop again made the tackle. Bill Williams is also set, and Flowers is going to run the option to the short side of the field right, and he's not going to gain much. Splits Callaway to the left. Gives on a draw to Jefferson. Coming up the middle, he is hit as he got to the 45, down to the 44 by Scott Johnson, the linebacker. Wellborn split to the right. Callaway left. The handoff Jefferson trying to sweep the right. Oh, as he stood up right at the 45-yard line. 14. Handoff Jefferson. He comes up the middle. His hit fumbles the ball. And Pete Noka dives on it for Wisconsin down on the 38. So. First and 10, Wisconsin on its 38. Counter play. The handoff goes to Fred Owens out of Bishop Borges. And he comes off the right side out to the 44 where Sean LaFontaine made the stop and here's Flowers running option left and he ducked under Feaster's tackle cuts up field is hit by Manuel fumbles the ball and Michigan is recovered so the Wolverines come up with their fifth turnover as Otis Flowers the freshman quarterback out of Houston was hit by Manuel Hassel came up with it on the bottom of the pile Michigan gets it back <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm laughing at. <laughs> I thought maybe it was the Wisconsin cheerleaders coming over to join the Michigan cheerleaders. No. They're kidnapping one of them. Handoff straight off the middle. Freddie Owens on a quick hitter. He's got running room inside the Michigan 45. First down to the 43 before Rick Hassel could make the stop. 6 to go. Wisconsin first down on the Michigan 43. Otis Flowers option right. Tosses back to Owens. He says, I don't want this thing. <laughs> There's Simpson. There are Tim Williams. They chase him out of bounds right around the 45. Owens and Ford hands the ball to Owens coming up the middle and Ward Manuel has got him wrapped up and he had plenty of help from Joe Holland and here's the option again and Flowers going to keep it oh he had a big hole and stumbled as he cut up field off left tackle and fell at the 35 there's have thrown only nine passes today Flowers barking out signals to his two wideouts, Burks and Williams, and he hands the ball off up the middle on the option, and T.J. Osmond 
took the ball carrier, Eric Ford, and shoved him back four yards. They'll mark his progress to the 35, and Michigan will take over there on downs. What, what a hit. What a hit. For on fourth down. Michael Taylor continuing at quarterback gives straight up the middle to Gerard Bunch and he fights his way out to the 41 he got about five we go. motion right comes a gun for Titami. and Taylor hands the ball off the right side to Williams he puts his shoulder down into two Badgers and bruises them back a couple of yards and gets a first down to the 47 high formation in the backfield and the handoff again goes to Williams coming right and he plows out to midfield and Bob Cernak on the right backs in the eye Williams behind Chris Horn. Here's a fake to Horn. Hand off to Williams. Coming right. And he's met right at the line by David Wings, the linebacker. Got a couple maybe to the 48 of Wisconsin. That'll be it. Doherty and Baroski are the guards. Cernak the tight end. Weil in at one tackle. Olszewski at the other. Taylor back to throw. In trouble. Tries to run it and he's going to be sacked. He might have to skip a play or two after this punt. To get some business taken care of. Here's the snap. No pressure from Wisconsin and Robbins kicks it away and he hits a dandy this time. Fester going back calls fair catch. The ball hits on the five goes into the end zone. 56 yards on the punt. Ball network. Idea a while ago we didn't get to it. 15 seconds here. Station identification on the Michigan football network. Ernie Bach out of Northville in that secondary now. Third down. Five to go and back to throw as Lowry fires it too high and too hard for David Burks his wide receiver incomplete and it'll bring up fourth down and Wisconsin will punt with 56 seconds to go in the game. So picky to kick. For the seventh time today here's the snap no pressure Scott so picky it's a line drive out of there Wellborn racing over lets it go it hits at the 39 one of the Badgers hit it. I don't think the officials saw it bounces forward down to the 30 and now the official comes rushing up to it's going to be marked right here on the 39 where they touched the ball city since then Michael Taylor at quarterback gives the ball to Tracy Williams coming right looks for a couple of blocks gets him high steps it over a fallen badger fights out to the 44 and a flag is thrown Kings enjoy watching the films want everybody to tune in and watch Michigan replay channel 7 tomorrow Sunday at 12 30. We'll watch the films with both. I always, I'll tell you this in a moment. Hand off Tracy <laughs> Williams going left. He finds a seam over midfield. And he is hit by Jeff Wagner, who's now at its safety. Hauled down at the Wisconsin 46. Recipes that come along with these things. <laughs> Here's Tracy Williams again coming right. He's down to the 40, down to the 39 yard line. He got seven more yards, hit by Mike Brecky. And that should be the final play of the game. The crowd chanting it down to six seconds and five. And the team's already headed off the field and into the tunnels, and this ball game is all over. The Michigan Wolverines have absolutely destroyed the Wisconsin Badgers in the Big Ten opener by a score of 49 to nothing this afternoon. Plenty to recap about today's game, and right now we've got to send a message out to our network stations. We have three commercials we didn't get in this quarter. We're going to leave you with two extras. We'll take a two-minute break right here. Tell you again, our final score, Michigan 49, Wisconsin nothing. And we'll be back right after this two-minute break on the Michigan Football Network.